these are two touchscreen products which gives you let's say a very intuitive interface to manipulate and view data so if you want to start you just press your five fingers and your Acer ring appears so you really need to do five fingers because if you do four nothing happens so you really do five fingers and it comes up what you can do here you can predefine certain gestures so what I did now is I put like a graphical A and the Acer website will open so you're uh, you're free to create gestures as you like as long as they're in one smooth movement so this Acer ring gives you the starting point to touch browser as we call it which displays on both of the panels your website you can scroll up and down and then what we call social jogger gives you an update of all your social media Facebook YouTube and Flickr your statuses are displayed and you can access the data from here so you can go to your Flickr pictures now it's uh, loading So we can play a, a picture or let's say a, a movie clip from YouTube by just clicking on YouTube and it will pop up onto the main screen. We can maximize it, so both are touch screen. So you can still go here while the, the movie is playing, you are still able to, to manipulate things here. Mm -hmm. You can go to your Flickr and you can let's say go to your pictures which are displayed as a slideshow in this case. Is there an option to display on this bottom screen? Uh, to display the movie? It's, yeah, no, instead of no, It's only on this one. This is what we call the manipulation area and this display area. Is there a name for this display? Uh, is this like a secondary display or the... Uh, we, we call it uh, display one, display two. So we didn't okay. think of any names. Nice uh, original. So, so once you want to type something, you just press this and the keyboard comes up. So you really need to put your palms on like you want are starting to type and then you can start typing. So we can open up here like an uh, uh, sticky notes and we can type, type, type something. One other feature is what we call scrapbook and within scrapbook you can create, I don't know, uh, to start from scratch, you can create in three minutes uh, an invitation to a children's party or I don't know, we can put like Tower of Peace on there. Let's assume that we're getting married in, uh, in Pisa. Uh, we put the wedding rings there and we write, I don't know, Pisa on there. Once you're satisfied with the results, you can output it, it comes up here, and we can drop it in any application that we want. So if we want to send it by MSN, we just take it and we scroll it into MSN. So now I'm going to drop it in paint. So we just do like this and it's in paint. So then we can print it or save it or whatever. What you can do here is you can do your touch photos. So you can display your photos on screen one. So I just take a picture. We have again the Tower of Pisa here. And we can make it bigger, smaller, we can turn it. So it's really manipulation on both screens. So both screens are fully 10 finger touch. Uh, you can type, you can manipulate, you can, uh, let's say, put the screen show on, like this. So we go now to the next, so. And meanwhile, while my, let's say, screen show is, uh, is ongoing, I can go through uh, touch video. So I can already select the video I want to show, but on my screen here, it's still showing. So I will go now, okay, Iron Man is popular today, so we just, show now the Iron Man uh, display. So here we have the manipulation, so we can go volume on, volume off. We can go to the next, uh, the next one here. Now it's taking the next one. Now you have to launch the full, uh, full window. So it's a, it's a very intuitive tool which allows you to, to access wherever you want to go. Um, so you can go to my journal, which gives you, let's say, basically 
an overview of active links where you subscribe to. So you can so you can crop a certain part of the website. So let's assume well, this is let's say the three headlines that I want to I'm interested in. I just double click here. I save it to my journal, and it pops up on my journal. I had probably put it in entertainment, but it comes here, and every time now I come online again, it's refreshing. So I can put the weather forecast here. So now it's refreshing. This is the news in Holland. So it really gives you let's say, some worksheets where you can group certain of your subscriptions or parts of subscriptions. And it's taking every time it refreshes through this part of the website. And so it gives you a snapshot of a certain website because usually websites are laid out always the same. So you're yeah. always in the upper right hand is the, is the latest weather or it's in the top five of news, news flashes. So you just clip that part, you put it in here and you, you save it. What you also can do is if you want to crop something in scrapbook, you just also are able to... Let's assume I want a picture of this part and I wanted to put my scrapbook. So now it's added on top of my scrapbook where I can just put it. So you can really put pictures where you want, enlarge them, do them like this. You can say, okay, I don't like this picture anymore, so you just throw it away. And then you can move this stuff. You can move this away again. So it's, it's really a very handy tool to just create some quick collages and can publish you change them. change the orientation? No. No, it stays like this. And you can, again, you can put them uh, on, your, on your desktop or... Show us what the outside looks like when you close yeah, it. Sure. Yeah, sure. So the outside is what we call 360 degrees branding. So it's, let's say, visual appealing from any angle. What does that weigh? This is a 2.7 kilo device. Sorry? 2.7, 2.8 kilo. When does it ship? Uh, first shipments are for December middle. In the US? Uh, both in the US and America. In December of what? Uh, December middle. So. Oh, the middle of next yeah. month? Yes. And um, 